um, just wanted to do a special bonus reading for you guys for Friday the 13th, full moon. There may be some crazy stuff that happens. Um, make sure you guys stay away from any kind of craziness. Uh, I would, I would not get drunk that night. I don't know. Or if you do, like, protect yourself, take an Uber, um, you know, take precautions because it's the energy could be kind of crazy. All right, so we're going to see which messages you guys need. What do you guys need to know about Friday the 13th? You're going to have to make a major decision based on your intuition about drinking. <laughs> wow, about going out socially going out to parties whoa i just said that like li listen to your intuition listen to your guidance make the mature decision um realize that there are a lot of you know crazy energies out there and do you really want to be out and about in that craziness mm. All right, finding the strength to choose between lovers. Um, also having some kind of an epiphany um, about maybe a realization that you've been victimized. Hang on, somebody's here. <laughs> There's a ringing in my ear. Gabriel. Gabriel says it's time for healing if you make the right choice, if you choose um, the love that could last the rest of your life. So choose wisely and, um, you know, listen to your intuition in terms of like, maybe even, maybe you're going to be going, asking that person on a date for that night. But you're going to go, you're going to go forward out of, you're going to overcome the situation. The universe is going to like give you some kind of an idea or something to help you overcome, you know, that person who might have a strong hold on you and has given you an idea, an idea as to maybe even like a, a realization that you could actually be happy with this person long term. Again, choose the long term option. <laughs> um, choose the long term option. Listen to the angels. Ask the angels for guidance. Get clear. Know your truth. Set your boundaries with the person that you don't want to be with for a long time. It's kind of like you're, you're walking past. Um, feels like you guys are about to go into the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe's closet. You're about to go through some kind of a portal. So choose wisely who you take with you. Is this going to be a new beginning or is this going to be a whole new era with the same old crap? So, um, again, choose wisely. And do you want to celebrate taking someone out for dinner and celebrate like a new start, a new beginning? Or do you want to stay stuck? Let down the burden of regret and disappointments of the past. If this is what's holding you back from reaching out to that person and asking them out or delivering them, a, you know, a message of love or, a, or some kind of a token to make amends with that person, then lay that burden down. Look for an opportunity to start a passionate new beginning. Now, this is not a passionate beginning, new beginning with the person who's not treating you right. This is not... A passionate new beginning with you know the person who is toxic and causing problems in your life and clinging and hanging at your ankles manipulating you bossing you around not treating you well this is a passionate new inspired beginning a creative new beginning a creative new start um go present somebody with an opportunity and and extend the olive branch. Some of you are going to be extending the olive branch like of forgiveness, both of you reconciling. Go the distance, I just heard. Go the distance. 
bridge the gap between the distance. If there's distance between you guys, like go after what your heart is calling you to. That's passion right there. He's holding, he's holding that wand, which is representative of passion. He's just waiting for his ships to come in and they will. Once you've gone inside for inner wisdom, you know, um, get ready to balance things out and go forward mightily with might and vigor. Okay. You have a passionate new beginning coming with the person that you feel like meets all your needs. It's a, this person is everything you've ever wanted. It's not codependent like that old relationship was, or at least not as codependent. I suppose some people have some codependent tendency, this tendencies that they're going to bring forward, but, you know, defeat that devil, whatever that devil is, this is going to be, this portal is going to allow you the strength, um, you know, to make that right choice to break free of the chains of the devil. And the devil is just ba basically an illusion that keeps you trapped in a fe feeling like you're uh, powerless in whatever situation you were in. And they're encouraging you to go into, um, at this time, at this, during this portal, like go into a new beginning, a brand new start. Oh, wow. Step into your power as the leader you are. You also match her. This is the empress and the emperor. So you know that you guys are the perfect match and could be an incredible power couple together. You, you also know that this is, this is the person that you can be totally vulnerable and be your authentic self with. And you also know this person could be, stay, on, stay with you for the rest of your life and be like your long-term retirement plan. <laughs> and that you guys could make a lot of money together, even, for some of you. So you're ending cycles with that toxic stuff and you're beginning a brand new, really healthy, abundant cycle. So if you allow this day to empower you in that way, then it, you know, it could be to your benefit. It could really help you if you decide to do that um, on Friday. Reach out. I just got the words, reach out. Reach out and touch someone. All right, so these are angel answers. They look like that. I just heard some of you go, oh, I have those. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. So what you want also wants you. And you guys are going to be flying at each other. You already are. You guys are already thinking about each other a, a lot. And you guys both want each other. So, you know, take that leap of faith and, and fly to them. I mean, it might be literally flying on a plane to go see them. So this is going to happen in the very near future as a result of this portal and you making that decision that you're gonna move on to your new life. It's safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. You know, um, a lot of you guys are afraid to, you know, you guys have been people pleasers for a while. You're afraid to rattle, you know, and ruffle some feathers. And they're saying you can be powerful and loving. It's like just assert your boundaries. Watch some of my videos and, and my playlist talks about life. I talk a lot about being able to like assertively assert your boundaries in a, in a powerful way. That's just like really plain and simple for somebody to understand. It's like, this is, this is what needs to happen. And this is the way that it is. And you don't, it's like, you don't, you don't, where you're not letting them manipulate you. You're just like plain and simple and unbiased, you know, across the board, everybody gets treated this way, you know, nothing to take personal. This is just how I like to be treated. You know what I mean? So there's a way to get out of your situation powerfully and gently and lovingly. I really, I love you very much. And this is what I want for myself both at the same time. So I'm going to do what's best for myself. Uh, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your gifts to open. So this portal is also ushering in some new energy and downloads. Pay attention to what you guys get that day and see what see which direction you're led in. I feel like a lot of you are going to see lots of signs and synchronicities about this person that's 
is best for you. You might even have some dreams and things about them. You might even fly with them in your dreams. <laughs> um, you might feel powerful in your dreams. You might do what you've been wanting to do for a long time that's kind of held you back in your dreams. Embrace those new things that are coming to you and, and those gifts that are starting to open up for you. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You, uh, you deserve heaven's help. So a lot of you guys are getting your, your prayers answered at this time. And so it's like, listen, you know, if you've been praying for a way to get away from that person, the angels are answering you. They're giving you a way out. So take it, you know, don't just... You know, take, take the door while it's open. Don't sit there and him and haw and think about it too long. Jump on it. When the opportunity presents itself, take action. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask your angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So, you know, if you, if you need to, just meditate on it and just really get solid about your action plan and how to go forth powerfully and gently and just you know you're gonna you're gonna you can do this you guys you can do this i know um a particular situation where um there's a divine masculine and feminine um that that are in separation at this time but it's they've been dating other people they've been dating um yeah, she she dated a karmic, and so did he. And then she got out of her situation with that one. And her and her divine masculine had stayed in contact and basically given each other updates. And they were non judgmental toward each other. They were just supportive. And um, and it was incredible. He he finally told her, you know, you're the one that I want to be with. And I don't I don't want to be with my karmic, but she's kind of got me trapped. Like. She watches my every little move and she, you know, she's just totally imprisoned me. So he confided in her and she's helping him with an escape plan. But she just went through it herself. And so, you know, um, she's helping him to come up with a plan to get out. And I'm hearing these stories more and more often. And it, it is best if you can talk to that person that you love. And let them in on it. You guys can, you know, you're building rapport that way and you're helping support each other. There's no pressure for them to be in a relationship or at all. It's just more like, let me help you get through this time. And that's, that's what we're here for, is to help each other. We can trust this person. You know, it's somebody who's got your back forever. <laughs> you know, somebody who will always be there for you. Of course, I'm sure they will be in a relationship, but, you know, there's no pressure for that to happen. Um, synchronicity. <laughs> your, prayers and, uh, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So, signs and synchronicities are going to be happening a lot on Friday Pay attention to what you're seeing and feeling and the numbers that you're getting. Look up the things that you see. Like today I saw it was raining. There wasn't a cloud in the sky and it was sprinkling. You could actually see the evidence on my windshield and on the sidewalk. But there was no clouds in the sky. It was the craziest thing. Um, also, I saw um, there was a huge grasshopper in the house. And I've never seen that before. And it was, it was just huge. So look up those things and find out what the symbolism is um, and follow, follow the trail, follow the yellow brick road. Healing heart, you're a powerful healer, keep up the great work. I just feel like this is talking about like when you finally reach out to this person, reach out from the heart and have a heart to heart with them. And it's going to be very, very healing for both of you to have that candid conversation. Okay, let's see what else. Make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive? Listen to your intuition and make a decision. Again, they're just repeating the message over and over. Really think about the long term here. Who do you really want to be with? And you got to make that choice Friday by Friday. It's like that portal is going to close. That door is going to close. If you haven't done it yet, then you're going to be stuck with that person. Do it. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. Exactly. 
If you really could have your dreams come true, what would you really, really want? You need to go after it by Friday. Get on it. Time to get off your butt. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity, including that partner, if they're negative and dramatic. Just get the heck out of there. You want to surround yourself with positive people in your life. You want to be around people who will, like, who they're not after their own gain in the situation. They just want for you what you want for you. Like, they truly, you, like, they just support you in whatever they want, whatever you want, even if it has nothing to do with them or if it makes them look bad or if it doesn't bring in a bunch of money or something like that. Ready, set, go on the bottom of the deck. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire, you guys. Friday, Friday, do it. This is your chance. All right, unicorns. This is the unicorn deck. What do the unicorns have to say? Probably the same stuff. <laughs> they're, they're like winking. All right, where is it? There, this one. Possibility. Raise your standards. <laughs> Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Believe in yourself and this person. You guys can do anything. You guys can get on the back of that Pegasus and fly. You guys are seriously able to do anything. You guys are going to be a power couple. But wasting your time with this time waster. You're only young once, like, you know, it's like, come on, make time to make some hard decisions and, and move on. Friendship, seek, seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. <laughs> so this is like, this is again, surrounding yourself with positive people, people who are of like mind, people who are magical thinkers. Look at the unicorn. Who believe in unicorns and have open minds and that are kind of squirrely and fun and cute and playful like that little squirrel you know get around the right people you need to kind of support you know even if you start off with this person that you're thinking of even though you're wildly in love with them you could start off with just a friendship i wouldn't friend zone the person <laughs> but definitely like let's just start nice and slow it's not like you have to jump in and get married or something crazy but just be like Start off as friends and build that rapport. Magic. I just said surround yourself with magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles because magic surrounds you. Friday the 13th is a magical, magical day. So let it work for you, okay? Pray that you will have the strength by or around Friday to make this, make this happen. Like step into your future. Step out of the past, step into the future. Passion is calling you. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Passion is calling. This is going to be a whole new life that's like much more exciting than what you've been in. In deep and fulfilling ways. Nature, ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. So I feel like, you know, if you feel concerned at all on Friday, unsafe, like ground yourself a tourmaline or any kind of a black stone. Um, pray, ask the elementals to help you, ask the fairies and unicorns. And unicorns are incredible protectors. You know, so use use nature, you know, be around, be around, um, be outside, go outside during the day, not at night. <laughs> um I mean, just because it's a crazy night, unless you feel like you're safe. But, you know, be out in nature or get out in nature and ask the nature and not ask like Mother Nature to protect you even. Stones and crystals and whatnot. Action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. You know, th these decks are thick. There's a lot of different messages in there. And they're repeating these for you because you need to hear it, apparently. Receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. 
So this, this is for both of you. It's a gift for you both. Whoever you're presenting this offer of dinner to or, or whatever, it's like both of you are going to be receiving in that. So be open to that. You know you deserve love. You deserve this kind of love, this pure kind of love. What is she holding? She's holding a magical ball. I don't know why she's holding a magical ball. <laughs> she seems awfully serious. But you know, you deserve, you deserve magic in your life. And you know it. You know you deserve this. Both of you. Both of you deserve each other and you know it. Who better for this person than you? Is there anybody better for, for that person? Really, though? I mean, really. I mean, you may think somebody's better than you in certain ways or whatever. This one looks better. This one has more money or whatever. You do, if you're not comparing yourself, I mean, it just, you know, it. you know, there's no one that can giggle and laugh with that person and just be themselves like, like you guys can. Or maybe you haven't met them yet or talked to them yet, but you know that it would be that way. Go with that intuitive knowingness and watch the signs and synchronicities. Okay, just two more decks. This is what this deck looks like. Oh, opportunity. <laughs> Live in the moment. Let go of the past. There is no point worrying about the future. A wonderful opportunity exists for you today. Embrace it. This is a totally different day. This is even thicker. <laughs> Hilarious. You know, sometimes we have to have things like hammered into our heads. Like your grandmother grabbing your ear and dragging you to do something. Or like your dad taking off, taking out the belt. You better, you better get to doing it right now. I don't think people are allowed to do that anymore. It's like considered abuse now, isn't it? <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> Blessings. You are being showered with light. Your creativity is being stirred, activated, set alight. An endless stream of rainbow color stems from your heart. Now, that's a little corny, but you guys get the point. Like, you guys have probably been seeing rainbows. If you're on my Instagram, I've been posting some rainbows that some of my feminines have been sending me blessings when you see rainbows it means blessings to come it means it means that you are about to step into a very prosperous and happy time go forth confidently let go of the past healing and again with the heart healing right healing positive transformation is occurring on a soul level the answer to your question is yes yes it's that person that you're thinking of Yes, they are, we're, they're going to heal your heart. Yes, you can go forth uh, and set your boundaries boldly, confidently, and kindly, and gently, but strong and firm. Yes, this you can trust. Yes, you're going to bring in a ton of money. Yes, you're going to have your prayers answered. Yes, it's here for you now. Yes, you deserve it. Yes, they'll forgive you. Yes, they'll accept your offer. Yeah. Yes, they'll be all over you. Silver vibrations. Your vibration is being raised to a higher level. You may be feeling that you are in this world, but somehow not of this world. This is the magic again of creation at work in your life. As silver starlight enters your aura, your energy field is strengthened, giving you a clearer connection to spirit and revealing the greater, the greater purpose of your life. There you go. That's Friday's energy in a nutshell. Friday's going to give you the strength and the clarity that you need to make these major life decisions, basically. Stay in the moment. Alchemy. Your inner light shines when you are at peace with yourself and the world around you. Let go of struggle and feel the beauty inside you. Allow all to just be and just be you. I feel like alchemy is like you're creating it sexuality an influx of sexual energy is coming your way <laughs> embracing both masculine and feminine aspects of the self creates wholeness it's safe for you for you to express your sexuality in whichever way you choose provided you do it lovingly <laughs> funny no you guys like 
that you guys you guys are ready for this next level you guys are ready so you know welcome it in don't be scared i feel like some of you getting all nervous don't be scared you guys will be fine just be yourself just like don't make it any big deal okay oops i lied there's another deck okay there's like two more decks We're saving the best for last. That's the romance deck. These are the Crystal Angels cards. Healthy communication and relationships. Heart to heart discussions, I said that. Heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. Ask this person out on Friday, around Friday, have some good healthy communication. Take the example of the divine feminine and masculine I was talking about earlier. Let each other know what's going on in your life. Make a plan going forward. Admit that you love this person or that you're very, very interested in getting to know them better, that you want to be a part of their life and, and just be like open and honest. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Don't be afraid. Go forth boldly and gently and lovingly and just make it all happen. Just make it all happen. Rip the band-aid off. Answered prayers. Wow, pay attention to like what have you been praying for? Maybe you forgot. You know, what have you been praying for for the last six months, a year, two years? It's coming, you guys, with this new person. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Okay. Friday is a big day. Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll be loved for who you truly are. You're not going to have to fake it with this person. You're just going to have to show up. How easy is that? There couldn't be a better job in the world than just showing up and being like, I'm here. <laughs> this person already loves you too. You guys already are nuts about each other. It's so easy. It's like walk up and be there. Walk up and be there and give her a hug. That's it for him. <laughs> Clear negativity, release negativity from within and around you, including those toxic people that you've been codependent on. Time to release them and let them go and step into the light, into your new life. This portal is giving you the strength to do it. So divine life purpose, trust the signs and your inner guidance, again, which are leading you to fulfillment. The signs, the synchronicities, the dreams, the things that you're sensing, the things that you're feeling, the knowingness you have about this person is leading you into your divine life purpose. You will be completely supported in this. It's your, the answer to your prayers. It's leading you to fulfillment. Fulfillment is happiness. That's waking up every morning like so happy that you're with that person. Coming home to them every night like in a hurry to come home, not avoiding them working late. This is like really being grateful. Like you feel like you've won the lottery with this person. You cannot ask for something better than being with this person, you guys. And the money will come. Don't worry about the money. The money will come when you're with this person. Moldavite. I love Moldavite. Unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. We just talked about life purpose. It's okay to be, um, feel and be different from others. So some of you have hesitated in this new life because there's so many differences between you guys or because it's so it's so different of a life than you've ever thought to live step out of your comfort zone and take a risk because you'd be surprised how comfortable that new life will feel to you after you've been in it for a little while keep a very open mind keep a very open heart and just know that you're very much being pulled to this new life and let it take you in let it take you in because you know true love it's it's there's always something to overcome, always something to overcome. You know, you got to earn it, you know. Stress reduction, de-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. So this is like the calm before the storm, like get ready, get some good sleep, take a bath, you know, with some Epsom salts or ancient salts or something, and just like 
take all of this weight off of you, take this burden off of you. It's going to be tremendously healing for you just to let go of the other person, let alone go forward toward the other. But can you imagine? Picture that moment. I want you to picture leaving the one person and how exhilarating that's going to feel and closing that door with certainty and good, ba- good boundaries. That person needs to know certainly that this is it. This is it. And, you got, and, and it's like everything needs to spell out, be spelled out all over again. It's not going to be what it was. It's going to be this new thing. And here's what the new thing's going to look like. It needs to sound like that when you talk to this person. And then it's like, you're going to, you're going to feel so much relief just from doing that. And then you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I just feel like all this energy from right at this portal on Friday, you're going to feel all this energy to just charge forward and tell this other person, I'm ready. I'm totally ready. Life changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you, and God is supporting you every step of the way. Do you have confidence now in this whole thing? Like, it's just been one repeated message after another, and I've used like four or five decks right now. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. This is so amazing. All right, so let's look at the romance cards, and then we'll wrap this up. <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cute i just saw some kind of like i don't i haven't seen norman rockwell forever but some kind of cute little thing like this there was a tall girl or something and this boy was trying to get up on on his uh tippy toes to kiss her <laughs> i just saw that for some reason i don't know if there's actually a painting like that but it's really cute it's like make that effort like get up on your tippy toes if you have to to get to get on their level <laughs> That is so cute. <laughs> oh, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, this is either like, they, you, like you've known this person before, you know, that you love. Or it could be that it's, it's a past life connection, so it feels like home to you, and you're being really drawn into it. Either way, you're going to have a reconciliation with this person. And it's going to feel like so sweet to just hold them and to just be in their energy with them. It's going to feel amazing. You guys are going to feel like you're floating on a cloud. You guys are going to be high, like a natural high. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, this person is going to say yes to you. Yes, they're going to spend time alone with you. Yes, they're going to kiss you. Yes, they're going to snuggle with you. Yes, they're going to forgive you. Yes, yes, yes. Forgiveness and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in this present moment. You guys are going to heal a lot when you guys have this heart to heart. You're going to learn a lot and you're going to forgive. You're going to feel the support of the angels. You know, just be honest. Put it all, put all your cards on the table when you talk to this person. Hold nothing back. Put it all out there. Because I know one thing about the divine feminines, they're all about honesty. And if you, and there's a lot, they will forgive a lot if you can just be frank in a kind way, in a gentle, yet powerful way. (laughs) Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. You know, this, this is worth it. This is worth putting some effort into. It's not going to be like squeezing a square peg into a round hole this time. The efforts that you put into this relationship are actually going to bear fruit. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So stay out of fear. Just be confident. Be powerful. Stay in the moment. Out of your thoughts. Out of overanalyzing everything. Um, Also show gratitude. Like feel like be praying all the time. How grateful you are for things. It's just enforcing. I'm so grateful for this. I love this about my life. I'm so grateful that I have this incredible partner that I can, that I feel on the same level with, that we can express love to each other so easily and effortlessly. Our communication is so much more harmonious than I've ever experienced before. The passion is freaking off the charts. It's so much more intimate and vulnerable, but it's like so much more, so much deeper and more fulfilling, you know? It's safe for you to love. Open your heart. To give and receive the highest energy of all. All of that that I was just describing. 
It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to leave that other person. All of it is safe. You don't need to worry about how this is all going to go down. Visualize it going well and take the consequences. Whatever the consequences are, just take it. Because you've, this passion is drawing you in. Again, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy as you guys devour each other. <laughs> it's going to feel incredible. So let, that, let those wings come out. Some of you have been hiding those wings. You were hiding those wings with that karmic partner. You didn't let them know that you were actually an angel. But with this person, she's going to love that you are just being yourself. And she's going to love your wings. All right. So flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. Take a chance. Flirt. Be playful. Do whatever you got to do. But let them know you like them. All right. No surprise this ended up being about romance. <laughs> but seriously, it's like the, I mean, in general, just to summarize, in case you didn't hear it, repeat it about a million times. This is this this portal on Friday is is really um, supporting you in leaving behind all the things that are to toxic and codependent in your life. People pleasing your parents, people pleasing friends and family, um, drugs and alcohol. It's like you're making healthier decisions. You're eating better. You are turning a new leaf going into fall. It's like this holiday season is going to be special. And so you're doing the cleanup job now. Um, getting getting ready and closing doors on the past so that you can go into a, a cozy uh, cozy winter with your new love. So get ready and start start taking action, making things happen. Even if it's just like a simple email or or text at first, just get the ball rolling. I've seen a lot of people coming into union right now. I'm talking. I'm hearing these really sweet stories. It doesn't have to go fast. It can go nice and slow. You know, just just get back on the same page with each other. I feel like you understand me, and I really appreciate that. So this is how you feel about this person, and they feel about you. You guys really get and understand each other. And it's just like a breath of fresh air. The way you follow your dreams is inspiring. Both of the feminines, you know, they've been going after their dreams and their, their, and boosting their careers and going after what makes them passionate. The divine masculines have been a little stuck, but they're like inspired to go start, you know, going after their dreams as well with their feminine by their side. This is the, the queen to the king making it happen and they can go after their dreams together. You made my day. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> go get him go get him tiger you can do this <laughs> you have great taste <laughs> oh my god that is so funny i love when i get that one. Oh my gosh yeah you guys are getting your frisk on getting getting playful and cocky and and cute about it i love it I appreciate the respect you show others. So this person also respects you, unlike that other person who bosses you around and controls you and puts you down. You want uh, somebody who respects you, who looks up to you even. I admire your patience, that's for sure. <laughs> this poor divine feminine's been through the ring or just waiting. You know, some of the divine feminines don't actually know who they're going with. You know, they were in love with a masculine that seemed to kind of ghost them right out of existence, you know? And now they're like, cool, who are these? You know, there might be some other suitors that might be pretty awesome. So um, yeah, their patience is going to pay off if they've been boosting their vibration. So I admire your persistence. <laughs> this is for some of these masculines who are like, well, mine kept coming at me. Mine kept, you know, she's never given up on me. Well, good. And he admires your persistence. Those of you who've been persistent about that. Could be also be persistence in keeping a high vibration despite all the disappointments she's been through. And I admire your courage to be yourself. Both of you, 
both of you can totally just be yourself with each other. It doesn't even take courage. It's just like you guys put it out there and it's a beautiful thing. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to quit. Anyway, Friday should be a big day, um, but definitely like de definitely protect yourself and definitely be, um, be careful. Don't drink and drive and um, watch out for weirdos. If there is anybody acting irrational around you or they start, you know, some people get possessed, temporarily possessed or whatever, and they're, they're not in their right mind. Don't get mad at the person. Just get away from them. Just try to be real present in the moment so that you can, like, just kind of be anchored. You can be the eye of the storm. You can bring a chaotic and dramatic situation to a peaceful state just by you staying peaceful and present. It's very powerful to do that. I admire your ability to bring out the best in others. So that, that's just affirming what I just said. <laughs> bring out the best in others by staying, by keeping your cool and keeping peaceful in, the, in any kind of crazy situation you find yourself in. Okay, guys, enjoy the portal. Let me know what happens in the comments. If anything magical or exciting happens or if you had the guts to leave or, you know, you finally said something to this person. It's so exciting. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.